everyone. Good morning. Right. Okay, good to see you. All right, um, I know we have um, many uh, new students and also uh, the returning students. And 오늘도 부모님들 와주셔서 진심으로 감사드립니다. 제 목소리를 좀 쉬었죠. 예, 지난 몇주 며칠 동안 계속 여러 가지 많이 얘기를 해서인지 목이 많이 쉰것 같아요. Um, I lost a little bit my voices because um, of mission trip and some lot of preparation for this semester. So hopefully uh, we could have a good time. Today I prepare a sermon, uh, a little bit um, kind of meaningful uh, journey for everyone uh, as a brand new semester with the uh, brand new uh, first grader and also some high schoolers and middle school students. Um, in order to prepare, um, you know, I was in the um, Actually, on the mission trip, uh, the one of the members and um, maybe I would like to share, um, you know, this mission trip as well. So, and the one message I prepare through the uh, mission trip time and also the recent uh, global phenomenon, which means the uh, Olympics, Olympic Games, uh, I would like to share about uh, the sermon together. Um, my sermon topic is spiritual discernment. 오늘은 우리 부모님들과 우리 학생들과 함께 우리 선생님들과 함께 영적 분별에 대해서 말씀을 좀 드리도록 하겠습니다. 좀 어려운 토픽이죠. It's a heavy topic. Uh, uh, we went to uh, the result uh, mission trip last uh, week about um, six days, and it's been about ten years uh, since we started the school and. What we have done every year, you know, we focus on the mission, how we can be more effective among many people and uh, use the, our talents, which is the uh, language abilities, global perspectives, and more diverse, uh, you know, the people uh, in Christ. We could approach many uh, people with the love of Christ. So um, we started actually with the uh, few students actually and then the only two, uh, two teachers, uh, we went to um, Rizal, um, the Philippine area. And the number of uh, students, participants is getting the bigger. And this time, the biggest group, uh, which is uh, 30 uh, people, uh, we went. Unfortunately, uh, we lost the two people, uh, Jace, uh, who got, um, you know, last minute, a uh, little bit urgent operation about his appendix. Mengjang Susul, he also he was not able to participate the uh, the, mission, the musical, and also the another person, Brooke, uh, he also he was a little bit sick and he couldn't make it. The day we leave, actually, um, however, I believe uh, God recognized their commitment and their hearts and you know, uh, toward the uh, mission field, and hope that uh, they can make it next time. Can we give a big hands to the uh, to, to two people? Uh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 You want to charge his phone and, you know, they have uh, two uh, chicken pieces and the pure uh, rice. Um, you know, that's like gravy sauce. So we just put it on the rice. It's, it's okay. Yeah. And then we land to the, uh, it is called Iloilo City. The first, first picture. They look okay, right? They looks like, you know, hairstyle and even their skin getting darker. And then, you know, even skin, the hair is like getting, you know, messy. Probably you could see that. And in the airport, Iloilo airport, we, uh, you know, land uh, as a memory and celebration, uh, which God, um, you know, gave us a safe trip to the uh, Iloilo city. And the first meal we had is a pretty good, uh, actually, um, a lot of Korean food, a home, the homestay, uh, the owner uh, provided a lot of good meals um, for, you know, each one of us here, uh, get that, you know, nutrition. 우리 가서 정말 살쪄서 온것 같아요. 그 정도로 잘 먹고 아, 저희가 푹 쉬었습니다. And we started the first day, and it is called Vacation Bible School, uh, VBS. 
And um, fortunately, and the great time is uh, meaningful, also more, let's say, um, what we have done as a legacy for this mission trip. Um, our senior students and also high schoolers, 11th graders, um, they, you know, had a great job, made a great, great contributions for this ministry. Uh, based on the uh, uh, Mr. Parks and uh, Mr. Chano's uh, the leadership and the guidance, and they voluntarily uh, got involved and then run the, all the programs with the many uh, followers and the students. So uh, the Leo and also Jay helped them, and also the um, Grace uh, Kim's mother. She's been always uh, participating, uh, joining this mission trip about uh, last three years. And James, uh, also DK, and Hyunwoo, and also the uh, So Nejin, so um, yeah, so, yeah, and then Grace, and then um, Onyu, the Paul, and uh, Esther. So this is the place. Um, you know, we uh, the first um, the ministry place is a pretty uh, you know big place and uh, the gym area. It's hot at night time, but get much weather is better than you know the daytime. And we met the really uh, you know the what is called uh, the two boys. We met them uh, the last year actually. Caleb Chang, he took uh, the photo with the, uh, the two boys the last year, and but with mask actually. And then they recognized Caleb Chang and us, and it was such a great greeting moment uh, we had and. We we're really happy to uh, take a photo together. And then on the uh, next day, we visit a different uh, church in a different location. It is called Dumangas, um, the place, new place. It takes about uh, another hour uh, to drive and uh, get there. Interesting is this one. It's pretty uh, close to place from Iloilo. Uh, however, the local people consider them, Iloilo city is a big city. Mega city uh, compared to the Mangas, which a uh, very country time. And then, um, you know, when we got there, a lot of kids consider us, you know, seriously more, you know, the kind of uh, foreigners and welcome us. And never ever had uh, any foreigners in their lives in church. So uh, the pastor, um, Jim, uh, he uh, was really excited to have us. And some of the church members, the kids, uh, they came to church at the, about 7 a.m. to have us because we arrive about uh, 10 a.m. But you know, seven, three hours you know before we arrived, they came and wait for us with excitement. That's such great, great um, you know the attitude and also the desperation. So we um, you know do our best. There are many things, uh, beats you know the VBS time. A lot of our school students uh, love the small kids, you know, taking a photo, and also the uh, uh, also be right next to them, you know, watching them how to you know do coloring, and then take a photo with hearts, pyong pyong hearts, pyong pyong, right? And group photo with the local kids. Here, like you know, really memorable. And this moment after this one, when we say bye, then a lot of high school students, even middle school students, they buy, say bye with their tears. Uh, through this time, I'd like to uh, mention about maybe it's some uh, provocative the message. Maybe uh, take it audio on top of this. However, one day ev everyone needs to know this one because we're facing this reality in the world actually. Um, Abraham and Lot story the, the Bible actually the Old Testament you know the Abraham you guys know that Lot is what his cousin actually uncle actually um, uh, Abraham's his the uh, the uncle for the Lot so both of them they used to live together and one day they sort of their servants fighting each other about you know some little things then Abraham what he uh, decided that okay let's split this time and then Lot you decide the land and then I will go different uh, opposite way. So what the Bible mentioned that Lot he was looking, watching the land that you know more prosperity, which is the beautiful land. It is called Sodom and Gomorrah. But you know the land Abraham select is what a wild in the place, which I mean the wilderness, which means the desert. It is the land of Canaan. 
가나안 땅으로 오히려 우리가 지금 생각하는 가나안 땅이 아니라 그때는 되게 사막 같은 느낌이었는데 소돔과 고모라는 되게 좋은 곳이었어요. So uh, Lot went here. However, Sodom and Gomorrah it means homosexuality. 동성연애라는 뜻으로 소돔과 고모라는 뜻입니다. Many people they made a sins actually against God. Even they don't care about God commandments. So God, He was really angry and mad at them. And then what He said to Abraham, "Let me punish, give them punishment, and destroy entire you know city." But Abraham, he thought the lots is his cousins of there, so he prayed. He prayed that Lord, if what if righteous people, about ten righteous people, they if they have, then are you gonna destroy? It? He said no. Then. Uh, Abraham he expected at least 10 righteous people is over there. However, there is no even less than 10 people in Christ in God. So he decided God decided to punish this place and then the lots the wife you know as you know the story she missed the place which is Sodom and Gomorrah returned with a turn around look at the city he she came from and she became it is called salt pillar. This is the, what the, you know, the archaeologists mentioned that maybe, maybe this is a salt of the pillar on the mountain of the, the Sodom, a lot's wife. And the, uh, the Sodom and Gomorrah place, what uh, the Bible, I mean, the theologian mentioned that, you know, that sea, can you see that? The, the lake, the huge lake, this is that, that sea is the supposed, was located, I mean, Sodom and Gomorrah located in this area, which means uh, completely destroyed and became what? That sea. Which is what? No life. Today, this, the ocean, the sea, what? Is too much salty. 여긴 소금이 너무 많아갖고, 물고기가 살 수가 없어. No life at all. God hate, hate, listen carefully, homosexuality. Hate against what God created. God created man and woman. Clearly, Bible mentioned about this one. When my kids were born, the nurse immediately asked me, or immediately told me, congratulations, your son, your girl was born. And what is her name? What is his name? She never ever asked me, what is a, his or his, I mean, your kid's gender? Never ever ask. It's immediately when you guys are born, obviously two gender. Either way, man and woman. However, today, even 2,000 years, more than 2,000 years, Old Testament time, unfortunately, some men love men. Some women love women. Because of what? Their pleasure, which means like, you know, pleasing themselves. Pursuing on pleasure, which means like fun, entertaining, physical happiness. So what the king, first kings of 15 to 12 said, he expelled the male shrine the prostitutes from the land and got rid of all the idols his ancestors had made. You know, even Old Testament time, many males love and want to have an inappropriate physical relationship with the male, males, boys. What the Bible mentioned, 1 Timothy chapter 2, 13, for Adam was formed the first, and then Eve. God created Adam. And then one of our ribs, he took away and then created, what is it? Women, Eve. And which is what? Women comes from the bone, which is the Adam, with the bone and even the you know, skin. So exactly the same equal the people in Christ and God. Let me tell you quickly about the Paris Olympic Games. You know, everyone's really excited watching you know, these games, and the Korea team, South Korean team is pretty good. And uh, I'm also, you know, you know, happy to, you know, see uh, other nations. You know, so it's pre celebration. It is global celebration. During this time, no war actually. So trying to even they hold any the conflicts or you know the political conflicts, they hold this one during this time. Why? This global festival. However, you know, the Olympic, the, the what is called opening cel cel ceremony, is a time, is a really, really surprising, shocking, 
and ceremony they perform this time, which is what the Last Supper by the Leonardo da Vinci. 그 다빈치라는 화가가 예수 그리스도의 마지막 최후의 만찬을 그렸어요. 저는 프랑스 루브르 박물관 가서 이걸 봤는데 어, 정말 많은 사람들이 보고 되게 감동을 받더라. Wow, this is the last supper, which is what most sacred moment, and God sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, and what He died for you and I. This is the last moment, meaningful moment. What He said, remember me. This is my body. This is my blood. Who do believe this my sacrifice? Then you be saved. Crucifixion, symbolism. However, Paris Olympics ceremony last to prepare the sparks controversy. Controversy. Actually, there's a lot of transgenders, the gay people. They manipulate this last supper, the parody, parody about this uh, picture, and for their own, let's say, you know, the purposes, which means that. Um, you know, gay, uh, lesbian, there are philosophies. And then the, um, Thomas Jolly, he's the uh, director of the uh, opening ceremony. What he said that, this is the interview, what he said, exactly. Let me uh, provide this one in English and Korean too. 잘 들으세요. 이거 되게 중요한 말. Jolly who is gay, which also means Jolly who is totally gay, said in his apology, because a lot of people criticize and condemn this is really, really inappropriate and really, really ridiculous. And then he starts to apologize. However, this is the point. I want to sincerely apologize to any far-right turds. Turds means what? Don't. Who are still stupid enough to believe in God and therefore may have felt all glumpy and offended when we split on everything they hold dear. 아직도 하나님을 믿는 만큼 어리석은 구구 똥덩어리들에게 진심으로 사과드립니다. 우리가 그들이 소중히 여기는 모든 것에 침을 뱉었을 때 그들이 불쾌하고 기분이 상해질 수 있습니다. By way of making amends, let me explain to you ignorant buffoons. That the buffoon means the crowd, crowd, 광대 같은 사람. The drag queen. 남자를 여장을 한 남자, the drag queen. Imitation of the Last Supper was not a drag queen. Imitation of the Last Supper, but instead was a tribute to the Greek god of wine, uh, wine, uh, Dionysus, was and was simply simply mean as a celebration of the fact of our being alive because we had drag queens imitate the Last Supper instead of a mocking Muslim. You, you point here. Who would stop us from being alive by throwing us off a roof? 이를 말하기 위해 무지한 멍청이들에게 설명하겠습니다. 그 여장한 여왕의 최후의 만찬 모방은 최후의 만찬 모방이 아니라 그리스도의 와인신 디아니소스를 기리기 위한 헌사였으며 단순히 우리가 살아 있다는 사실을 축하하기 위한 것이었습니다. 이는 우리가 무슬림을 조롱하지 않고 최후의 만찬을 흉내 내었기 때문에. 우리 만약 우리가 무슬림을 조롱했다면 그들은 우리를 지붕에서 떨어뜨려 죽었을 것입니다. Fleming spoke a queer gay jolly uh, uh, later amends his apology to say okay it had nothing to do with Dionysus and we were mocking the last supper but it was still a celebration of being alive because we are too chicken to mock Muslims. But we are too chicken to mock Muslims. What is that? Chicken guru mojo seo? Kopjai rang, kopjai. Was a Bultan and Debeni, Kyo Gay, Joliga, Najing Sagar, Sunga Marasmida. I guess Mida Dionysos one, Amusangan of Go, or in a Shirtero, Che Manchanel, Torangas. Hajiman, Kosum Uriga, Muslim Chorang, Yogi of Saki Temune, Yojuni, Sarai Smil, Chukaran Goshi. What the press, the mention, address that, this one. Too chicken to mock Muslims. Gay French people mock the Last Supper. What do you think about this one? Why Christians? We are so speechless. Why are they afraid of only Muslim? More than, rather, rather than the Christians. We are chicken. We are 우리는 그런 겁쟁인가? 
Transgender's mockery of the Last Supper made. And a lot of gay people in French, what they said, it's one of the examples. Let me finish up this one. Personally, I think what he gave the interview that they shouldn't have apologized because an apology means recognize a mistake, recognize that you deliberately did something to harm which was not the case. We are here to celebrate French in its, what is called, diversity. We are a part of France. We are a part of its diversity. The Christians around me aren't shocked. The Christians who are shocked are the Christians who are homophobia, transphobic, homophobic and transphobic and dragphobic, queerphobic, who do, do not want us to be associated with art, who do not want us to be associated with the friends, with the religion. I'm not gayphobic. I would like to support them. How? If they stop practicing homosexual relationship and then turn back to God and we like to support. We are sinners, obviously. What the Bible mentioned, all nations, we are sinners. Then when we repent our sins and stick to what God created, what God He commanded us, and repent and try to follow what He commanded us, not against God's creation. God never created Adam and Steve. God created Adam and Eve. We have to acknowledge this faith and truth and repent. We welcome any people who came from sinful lives. Obviously, the Bible clearly mentioned about this one, discernment. Today, many people struggle with discernment issue. I appeal to, therefore, you brothers, by the miracle, uh, mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be comforted to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, and that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I'm so sorry, young students. 오늘 지금 좀 설교가 길었죠? 하지만 Olympic Games, I believe, internations we watch this show. I think we should know the reality. The world has been changed radically, liberally. 여러분 정말 경식 경각심을 가져. 이 세상이 얼마나 타락하고 얼마나 많이 변하고 있는지를 우리 정말 알아야 됩니다. And you need to study more. You need to develop more. And meanwhile, build up. It is called spiritual discernment. How to make the right decision. In the name of Christ. We go to the Philippines maybe one day. Next year we go to the Vietnam. We're going to face the situation again. Then what are you going to do? What are you going to say as Christians? Many people mock or just you know, manipulate or just you know, lie to us. And then what are you going to do that? So we need to have this wisdom from the Bible. This semester, many challenges you're going to go through. Many temptations you're going to go through. Let's try to have this spiritual discernment wisdom and ask God, you know, and also receive this wisdom from God and reading the Bible every day. Let's pray heads.